Hi there. Today's lesson is the second part of finding the area, and this is going to be over triangles and trapezoids. Uh, the formula for this is a little bit different. That's why we separated it from parallelograms, squares, and rectangles. Um, we're going to start off with a triangle. So the area, or the formula for the area of a triangle, is one-half the base times the height. So here we have an example of a triangle. We have the base along the bottom, height going from its center point down straight down to the middle of the base. All right. Will it always look like this? Obviously not. This is an equilateral triangle, so it's going to look a little bit different, and we'll do some different examples in class. Um, but let's look at our first example. So area is equal to... Um, Base times height divided by 2 is another way to do it. So if we have 10 times 6.5 divided by 2, we would get 65 divided by 2. If you were to divide that out, you would get 32.5. Our unit of measurement is meters squared. Uh, the other way you could do it is divide the the base by half and then multiply that by 6.5. So 5 times 6.5, it should come out to the same answer if you do it correctly. And again, keeping in mind that you need to have your unit of measurement and it needs to be squared when finding the area. Next example is the area of a trapezoid. That formula is a little bit different in that it's almost a triangle but doesn't quite go all the way up. So we have actually two bases and those are indicated here and here. Okay, so the formula for that is one half times the height times base one plus base two. Now if we follow our order of operations we need to do base one plus base two first then we can multiply that by the height and divide by two. So let's look at our example here. So area is equal to one half times the height times five plus twelve. Okay, so we do our uh, PEMDAS and add up this first. So area is equal to um, seven times seventeen and all that divided by 2 and if we were to multiply that out we would get 119 divided by 2 so the area of this particular trapezoid is going to be 59.5 inches squared okay, and I assure you we will do many more examples of this in class so Please have your notes, have your formula charts ready to go, and I will see you then.